Let's take a, a look at another one of your notes. Uh, you also noted that Mr. Rosen said to Mr. Trump, quote, DOJ can't and won't snap its fingers and change the outcome of the election. H how did the president respond to that, sir? He responded very quickly and said, essentially, uh, that's not what I'm asking you to do. What I'm just asking you to do is just say it was corrupt and leave the rest to me and the Republican congressman. So let's now put up the notes uh, where, you, where you quote the president. Uh, as you're speaking to that, he said, the president, the president said, just say the election was corrupt and leave the rest to me and the Republican congressman. So, Mr. Donahue, that's a direct quote from President Trump, correct? That's an exact quote from the president, yes. The next note shows that even, the, even that the president kept pressing, even though he had been told that there was no evidence of fraud, the president keeps saying that the department was, quote, obligated to tell people that this was an illegal, corrupt election. That's also an exact quote from the president, yes. Let me just uh, be clear. Did the department find any evidence to conclude that there was anything illegal or corrupt about the 2020 election? There were isolated instances of uh, fraud. None of them came close to calling into question the outcome of the election in any individual state. And how would you describe the uh, president's demeanor during that call? He was more agitated than he was on December 15th. Um, the, the president throughout all of these meetings and telephone conversations was adamant that he had won and that we were not doing our job. Um, but it did escalate over time until ultimately the, the meeting on January 3rd, which was sort of the most extreme of the meetings and conversations. So I want to make sure we don't gloss this over. Just say it was corrupt and leave the rest to us. The president wanted the top Justice Department officials to declare that the election was corrupt, even though, as he knew, there was absolutely no evidence to support that statement. The president didn't care about actually investigating the facts. He just wanted the Department of Justice to put its stamp of approval on the lies.